The Gear Wrench 120 XP Ratchet turns fasteners with just three degrees of swing, so it works where others don't. That means you can work faster and get more done, even when the bolt you're working on is underneath, behind, in between, and really tight. The 120 XP can do it because its double stacked Paul design gives you 120 positions for every full turn of the ratchet. So even if you only have three degrees of free swing space, you can still turn the fastener. It's three degrees and you don't realize just how short three degrees is until you're in a cramped space and then it does what it's supposed to do. The 60 tooth gear alternately engages the double stacked Pauls to produce the 120 positions and provides all the benefits of a fine tooth ratchet without sacrificing strength or durability. All 120 XP ratchets exceed ASME standards for torque overload testing and deliver the durability required by professional users. I find it a lot easier to use where another ratchet may not get the plate that I'm looking for. This one seems to get that plate. The 120 XP and its double stacked Paul design let you work faster and get more done with legendary gear wrench speed, strength, and access. Available in one quarter, three eighths, and half inch drive sizes, it's our best ratchet yet. Hello, I'm Stefan Menzel from the Knipex team and today I would like to show you our new model 68 front nipper in the size of 280 mm. Normally front nippers like this are being used for all kind of cutting operations, cutting nails or, or wires or like typically in carpentry you use them to lift up a nail from a piece of wood. Cutting such a big nail, of course, is a lot easier using a longer tool with higher leverage, like this one. Now, why do you, you need the longer handles? Imagine having a tool of this size and you have to tighten a knot down here. It's very uncomfortable to reach down there. So with this tool, it's much more convenient or even, first of all, possible to reach down into the concrete mesh. So whatever you need this tool for, if it's for concreters work or for cutting nails or wires or as a carpenter, one thing is for sure, buying the Knipex, you buy the original. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, Scott here. Today I'm going to tell you about Camco's Tri-Leveler. Keeping your RV level is important because it helps your appliances operate more efficiently and it helps the black and gray water tank sensors to have a more accurate reading. Camco's Tri-Leveler helps you level your RV by raising any tire up to 3 and 7 8 inches. This lightweight Tri-Leveler is made of durable UV stabilized resin and has a non-slip surface which helps to safely support loads up to 4,000 pounds. And it has a built-in handle so it's easy to transport. It has three different height options so you can customize your RV leveling. Simply choose a flat, even area to park on that's clear of rock and debris. Align the tri-leveler with your tire, placing the lowest end up against it. And drive on to the appropriate height. And that's all there is to it. If you don't have a tri-leveler from Camco, you should get one or two today. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Nebo Unboxed. 
I'm Zach, and today I'm unboxing one of the most unique items that Nebo has ever made. The Bright Bucket. It's a collapsible bucket with a removable 200 lumen COB puck light. Now, there isn't much to actually unbox here. All of the instructions are printed on these tags, and the sticker on the bottom of the bucket illustrates different ways to use the light. But let's go ahead and get the tags and the sticker out of the way so that we can take a look at the product. The bucket has a handy foldable handle at the top that swings out, and in order to expand the bucket, simply push the bottom outward while holding on to the handle. And as you can see, the light is on the bottom of the bucket here. Now, there are two ways to configure the light. The default way is to have the light pointed towards the bucket. So when you turn the light on, the bucket lights up. This is good if you have any sort of liquid or fishing bait in the bucket, or if you want to use the bucket as a lantern by turning it on its top. You could also use it in this configuration as a spotlight with the bucket expanded, or as a broader floodlight with the bucket collapsed. You could even swing the handle around to the back to use it as a handle, mounting point, or kickstand. The secondary configuration would be to turn the light around, you can do this by rotating the light counterclockwise to unlock it and then pull it out. Now you can turn the puck light over and place it back into the bucket lining up the notches and then turning clockwise to lock it in. This configuration is useful for when you have solid objects in the bucket that might block the light. Now, while you're carrying the bucket around, the light will light up the ground around you and in front of you. By the way, this makes the bright bucket the perfect trick-or-treating bucket for kids on Halloween. In this configuration, the light acts as a safety light, helping light the area around you. You could also still use the light as a floodlight by collapsing the bucket and swinging the handle around to use as a handle, mounting point, or kickstand. And one thing to note is that both the light and the bucket work completely fine independent of one another. There is a watertight plastic lens in the bottom of the bucket that allows the light to shine through. So if you want to use the light without the bucket or vice versa, you can. DeWalt's Corded Brushless Grinders. No downtime having to replace brushes. Power loss reset helps prevent accidental power ons. E-clutch and kickback brake have your back whenever a pinch is detected. DeWalt, guaranteed tough. If you're after a laser level, the Stanley Cubix is a great cross-line self-leveling laser which is very, very versatile, easy to use and very cost-effective. Massive labour-saving device. Times I used to spend marking one end, marking the other end, trying to get a six-foot level, hold it steady with one, one foot and one arm and draw a line. If you've got a laser, you, you can set it up, switch it on, away you go. You, you haven't got to worry about all that time messing around and setting up lines here, there and everywhere. What you get with the kit is the multi-link bracket, which fits in several sides of the tool to make it even more versatile. This has a clamp on the end, so you can clamp it onto the timber, back of the door, chair, anything like that, depending on what application you're using it for. The cross-line laser, and you can see on the wall over there, gives you a horizontal and a vertical reference point, and uh, this can then be moved around the wall. One of the great things about the Cubics is that you've got mounting points on five sides. So whatever way you need to use it, there's a way to hold it in position using the clamp. Now the self-leveling part of it is once you get it reasonably straight, it's to within four degrees, it will then automatically level itself up. There are two modes that you have on this. The self-leveling mode, which you switch on one side there, and then you also have the lock mode for if you're doing something that's going to be on the ceiling, 
or on the floor where you need a fixed reference point. You can see the laser up to 8 metres away using it indoors and it's accurate up to 0.8 millimetres over a metre. That's comparable with a spirit level. Applications you can use this for, as you can see, we've got it set up on a site here. You can use it for stud work, flooring, but then around the home you can use it for everything from hanging wallpaper, tiling a floor, to just making sure that your pictures are level. Yeah.